Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Angel Baby. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is a continuation of Kim's Lost Words. Remember that everything in this book is alleged, and we are on chapter 9, going back to Cali. Still continuing. Wait a minute, can they be talking about Biggie? Is Sean saying he won't protect Biggie? At this point, I was too young too naive, too hung over to understand that this was not a lack of protection. This was a hit. Where did this come from this morning? But an older, wiser me understands now what I did not comprehend all those years ago. Sean was just getting to the real reason that he had XXX there. The world was about to lose Biggie. XX laughed. You a cold motherfucker, Sean said. Why the F should I protect someone that isn't going to stick around? I made him. That nigga should be worshipping the ground I F and walk on. I was thinking Sean's ego is rearing its ugly head and I wanted to get out of there. But instincts told me I need to tread carefully. So my next move had to be calculated. I don't really want any part of this, not even implicity. But I was just dragged right into the middle of it. If what was happening here ever comes out, Will I be held as an accomplice? But even as though thoughts crossed my mind, I couldn't just pretend this was okay. So I said, but Sean, he hasn't left yet. They're just rumors. Are you going to let him die because of some rumors? Sean glared at me, the anger in his voice obviously stemming from hurt as he said, I know when I'm being portrayed. I'm not unaliving anyone, but I am not protecting somebody that doesn't have my back 150%. Fuck that. This was railing out of control. My mind began to race. Is there a way to get through to him? Maybe I could use the finance route. Sean, he's bringing in so much money. You put so much money into cultivating him. Are you going to throw away all that money? That's when he revealed how thought out this meeting really was. If he leaves, he takes all the money I invested into creating him. Sean sighs. But if he can't protect himself and something terrible does happen, then the money I would make off his death would blow away all the money we made so far. I was perplexed. Sean, he continued, he's worth more to me dead than alive. Sean Combs is a calculated monster. XXX chimes in. I get that, fam. A lot of people out here want Biggie unalive, too. Without your protection, he doesn't stand a chance in Cali. Biggie is going to die. This is crazy. I dare not say anything else about it. Sean smiles and stands to walk over to a safe behind a picture. There he pulls out a bag marked with XXX name. He turns to XX and says, that's why you're worth your weight in gold. You understand me? Here's a little something for you to take care of my people. XX smiles. Sean, I love you, baby. You know I got your back. Your problems are my problems. I'll make sure to have my people take care of your people. I need to get out of here. This is crazy. I attempted to leave again. Sean, I want to get to Quincy before he wakes up. Sean looked at me responding. It's getting late. Give him a kiss for me. I'm going to get out of here. Thank God, XX always with something to say. I love to meet the little tyke sometime. Not a chance in hell. Something about this guy creeps me out. I forced a smile. That would be great. I made my exit. Chapter 10, The Lies You Tell. At this point, the relationship between Sean and I had been off and on for quite a while. And we were off at this point. He had put his hands on me again, this time for something that didn't even happen. It was all in his head. When the phone rang, I picked it up anyway. Hi, Sean. He sounded trepidatious as he said. We broke up for a while this time. Yeah, he continued. I don't want anyone to know about my, he paused, to search for the right word. Proclivities, I replied. So you don't want people to know about you being gay? Sean exploded. See, that's why I fucking lose control on you. So I just plainly stated, goodbye, Sean. Wait, he screamed. 
What, Sean? I'm sorry. Okay. You're always fucking sorry. He took a deep breath. I have to do something to cover myself. I sighed. Do whatever you fucking want, Sean. When you see this in the news, it's, it's not real. This made me calm down a moment. What could he be talking about? He continued. I'm only doing it for the press. Doing what, Sean? After a long pause, he continued. She knows what this is. She is just pretending to cover me. Sean, what the hell are you talking about? Another pause. Publicity. I'm going to be dating someone else, a video girl. I laughed. Why would you do that? I have to cover myself. I was getting mad. I was actually angrier at myself more than him. Why was I getting jealous? I was sitting there actually comparing myself to a video vixen in my mind. They are thick, but look at my body. Did he prefer them light-skinned, big-butt girls from videos? I calm myself. No, I know he likes men any damn way. As I regained control, I asked. Why the hell are you telling me? He sighed. I want you to find out for me first. Like I give a shit. He came at me with his favorite line. You know I love you. It was getting old. I could only think to myself, here we go. Love is a big strong word. I'm tired of him throwing it around and using it when it fits his needs. He's using it while he's sitting here telling me about dating someone else. I replied, you don't hit people you love, Sean. Love doesn't hurt. He sucked his teeth as he responded. Come on, are you serious? That shit's for children. We aren't in fucking high school. Sometimes things happen. That doesn't mean I don't love you. I wouldn't hit you if I didn't. Wait, wait, that sounded wrong. You said exactly what you meant. He took a breath. There was an awkward silence. The fact that I was still on the phone and waiting for him to speak meant he had the power. He was more cautious as he continued. He didn't want to lose that power. Kim, no one that I don't care about can bring that kind of emotion out of me. I wanted to say, is that how you talk to dudes after using butt plugs? But there is a line I dare not cross. Instead, I said, you say that while you're dating some other bitch. That's just for the public. I was done. It could be heard in my voice, as I said. Whatever, Sean. Do what you need to do. Leave me alone. I'm never going to give up on us, he cried. I responded to that emotional control attempt with the little resolve I could muster. I didn't even believe the words that came tumbling out of my mouth. Sean, there is not us anymore. Goodbye. Tell Quincy I miss him. He threw out. His emotional manipulation was really driving me crazy. This time I said with much more conviction. Goodbye, Sean. I hung up. Manipulative bastard.